Now unfortunately, um, I thought I'd try the uh, graph oil. Um, and there I was talking away to the camera. And I uh, forgot to press record, but not to worry. Um, it's the same piece of magnesium uh, with the same material that I finished with um, on that piece of graphite last so um, we've got some bolts we've got some power Will it take a charge? Obviously, will. Um, <coughs> I think what I need to do is clip this thing down instead of trying to hold it. So that then is the <clears throat> that modified material, that last run that I did um, on the graphite. We're now on graph oil. There's the graphite. All I've done is taken that off there and put it on there basically. So uh, Okay, so it's, it's looking like um, <clears throat> pretty similar results, really. Obviously, I'm going to try that other paste as well, again, on the graph oil. And I shall try the second mod from that one as well. Be wrong, but it seems to have better bounce back there as well. Or a little bit quicker. Yeah, interesting. Still the same kind of voltage when on the charge, so Okay, so it's, uh, I guess it's time to try that one now. I'll pause the video. 
Okay, so here we go. Uh, nice clean piece of magnesium as usual. Um, absolutely no degradation on that, so it's not sacrificial in any way, uh, which pleases me no end. Um, activated carbon, little smear. Time to go to this again, I think. I think from memory, the finger did the best job. So, Still got a bit of moisture in there. Now that's looking better already. With that one. So what I'm going to have to do, um, <clears throat> just come back to this in a minute, because I'm going to need to take this phone uh, and get some videos out of the memory otherwise I can see me running out of uh, space again so I'll just go off and do that and come back to this uh, carrying on where we left off then um, I'll just wipe this down a little bit it's nice and dry now so that's that's lovely um, where were we uh, we were testing this one <coughs> excuse me now the battery voltage, I've been, I've been gone for about uh, an hour and a quarter now, uh, it's a good job I did because this phone battery was flat and the, my memory was almost full. Uh, I've downloaded 50 odd videos from the phone, um, obviously in sections, not whole videos, um, to my computer, <clears throat> but the reason I've been gone for so long is I do like to check in each individual one to make sure it's downloaded correctly and it plays and I can do something with it so that's that uh, meanwhile back at the ranch this has dropped from in that hour and a quarter whatever it was uh, down to 2.32 uh, and it's still dropping now I think I think that was on 2.34 just yeah it's still dropping so uh, you know that's a bad point um, obviously you know it's it's a fresh mix and you know it's it's a first attempt and all the rest of it so it's got to be played with now as I say that's lovely and dry now um, there's no moisture at all so will it take a charge okay that was about three seconds yes it will um, is it stable well let's give it another three seconds Get up to the 2.5 volts if we can. Um, don't know if I should bother with a timer at all. Um, I know I've got the video timestamp, but uh, if I do 
Well, let's see if there's any life in it first. Mm, yeah, okay. Don't know what that's going to come back up to. 1.7 something then. 1.76 Now, when I said that's very, very dry when it had got some water moisture content in it it was bubbling, you know, you could see the bubbles and now there's nothing and the whole point of this what I'm trying to achieve is a dry cell yeah I know uh, it's an impossible challenge if you like but that's what I'm trying to achieve now we know you can make uh, dry crystal cells you've seen them on YouTube um, laser saber and people like that uh, even I've made them you know and they do work and they go on and on and on uh, you can get them to go on for years but the uh, the magnesium core is sacrificial um, over a period of time and that's all there is to it um, what I want is a similar thing with good power uh, that's dry with magnesium that's not sacrificial and so far it's what I've got that magnesium there is not sacrificial So to all intents and purposes that is a dry cell, as dry as I can get it for now anyway. So we'll just let that run. I'm not expecting, you know, anything brilliant right this minute, but I'm trying the uh, graph oil, obviously, same sort of tests. Now the, the amount of material in there is nothing. Um, in fact, when I take this apart, I'll show you. If you can hear some background noises, I'm actually cooking in the background and I've just noticed you can't even see that, so there it is. Um, <clears throat> earlier on, <clears throat> excuse me, I was looking at some of my uh, other work that I did uh, a while back on uh, with with this graph, this graphite plates, um, all carbon cells, carbon carbon, and uh, pretty good current actually. I was quite impressed, um, even with the, the the carbon and magnesium at that particular time. Um, solid state work again um, it brought back memories and uh, it all came flooding back to me what I'd actually done uh, at that time so uh, again what I'm going to do is look over some of my um, older videos again just to refresh my memory um, and see where we go see if I can sort of incorporate some of those older ideas into this uh, this is my um, 
uh, graphene from activated carbon um, it might look a bit black and messy there but uh, it's not uh, it, it is quite silvery um, basically I've uh, I've just put some DI water in it it started to crystallize and I don't know why I don't know what what it is yet in fact you may be able to see some of the crystal residue on the side there don't know what it is crystal formation of some sort so I'm going to wash it um, and hopefully filter it I think I might have to just try and trap the crystals in the filter or something because um, I know that graphene will definitely go through the filter uh, and then if I, if I can do that uh, obviously dry it off get it into a cake um, I can do anything I like with it then um, make inks whatever I wanted to do really uh, I've, I've bonded it to cardboard with a binder uh, already shown that one there in a binder flexible um, and I've managed to bind it to a, sh uh, a piece of acetate sheet as well um, so yeah all good but obviously if I dry it off what I can do then is uh, get it in the coffee grinder and make uh, make a very fine powder as well well hopefully providing it doesn't just clog up either that or I'll have to wet uh, wet, uh, wet grind it one way or the other I'll do it okay so these for what they are and considering that I've, I've only just started this you know uh, yesterday in fact with the first set of videos um, this is the second set uh, or the second video I should say on um, on graph oil <clears throat> I shall be trying it as I said on carbon fibre weave as well although that's a bit more difficult because um, you, you can't get a thin as thin a layer down on that as you can with that obviously um, I mean under there there, there literally is next to nothing there at all So again, we're working with very little material in this setup, which is brilliant. And this is again, part of my triangle. Um, solid state work. Um, <clears throat> my old uh, regenerating cell work and uh, recharge, you know, general rechargeable batteries. Uh, which one will win? I don't know. <laughs> there's got to be one winner, um, and and one where you say, yeah, there's some life in this, and uh, or mileage in it, I should say. I've got, I've got to say, I mean, I've got no aspirations of, uh, you know, ever making, uh, shall we say, a battery that will go commercial and be, you know, <clears throat> anything that's better than anything else out there. You know, I've got, you know, that's not what I'm into. It's, um, I'm doing this for me because I enjoy doing it and that's it. If I did happen to produce something somewhere along the line especially solid state obviously uh, then who knows I don't know but at the moment I mean I've got no you know high aspirations of anything like that it's not my train of thought it's not where I'm going with my mind <clears throat> I just want to basically make um, what I'm doing as, as good as I can and that's it So, not bad, we're on 10 minutes, and we're down to 0.65 of a volt. Um, I 
while that's running I just want to check something with this I know it's very conductive that much I do know What I actually wanted to check was the uh, the 200 ohm scale and um, I was watching one of my videos and uh, I was editing the video and I said oh look that's 6 ohms and then I thought was it 6 or 60? That's on the 200 ohm scale uh, so that's yeah that's 9.7 so the you know the 6 O that I saw on the on the screen on the computer was 6.0 so that is 9 9.45 ohms so I was right always best to check these things that's a different piece there that's 39 ohms 10.3 45 that's a, a centimeter the bit in binder yeah. <laughs> wonderful Okay, that's the bit in binder. 21 ohms, 20, almost 22 ohms there. Um, 27. Now that there is a piece that's, well I don't know what it is, but it's different. Uh, there's not much material on there, I don't think. At least could do with a bit of a clean as well. Anyway, um, it doesn't matter at this stage because that is on a piece of cardboard done in haste, as per usual with me. That's the stuff without a binder. I've had some quite low readings from this, so I know I can get a low reading. That isn't the problem. They're all fairly low, I mean that's 20 ohms, you know. So yeah, at least I know where the decimal point is. I'm glad I checked that out because the six ohms that I got on the screen, I know is six ohms. So, um, 14 and a half minutes then. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this stuff. Now that doesn't look like anything of anything, really. A 
as such. But if you put it on a piece of card like that, and let it dry, That was the sound in the background, I'm actually cooking. So I've just dried that piece there. And that's the difference when it's dry. And there you go. That is graphene from activated carbon. I'm quite proud of it, actually. Um, you know, I have not seen this done before. Um, I've said this before as well. See so that? No, that that is it. That piece I've just put on there. You know, and dried it. And this is on card. Um, you know, if anyone comes along and says, well, uh, if you look at so-and-so video, I've done that before, that's great, I don't mind. But the fact is, all I'm trying to say is, I've been trying to do this for ages. And I've just come up with a way of doing it. So there's always a, mo a moment where there's a sense of achievement when you've actually done something like that, you know. Um, well, there is for me anyway. Um, it, it, it's like it's like watching something that someone else has done. Um, you know, uh, a prime example: making graphene oxide. <laughs> um, admittedly, it all happened for me on the third attempt. Not the first, not the second, but the third. Uh, now, when I make graphene oxide, um, I've got it down to a T, no problem. Um, you've just got to follow what you see. Uh, if someone shows you how to do something like that, you've got to... Uh, I know the conditions can't always be the same as someone else's conditions, but generally, if you follow the rules of what you see, and what you're taught, um, then you should be okay. So, uh, yeah, a sense of achievement with graphene oxide as well, because, you know, I've only been making it for a couple of weeks. If you can hear me scratching away in the background, it's because um, I, uh, I'm cooking something and it needs to be seriously dry. It's getting there.
Well, I have to say, um, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Considering the start voltage, um, that ain't bad. Now I've said that, open my mouth, it'll probably drop like a stone. I think what I'll do, I'll stop talking now and um, this section of the video, uh, I'll speed it up. Just so you can see the final result. But the cell itself, there it is. And as I said earlier, there's probably two square centimeters there of uh, active material. Guess I can move that now until uh, I want to clean the bench next. <coughs> um, I will interrupt this. Uh, this um, <clears throat> one centimetre business, um, I'm sticking to that format because I think it was RMS that I heard say uh, that it is sort of a benchmark for a test of this type, um, a one square centimetre if you like, um, is where anyone and everyone does a test. So this is why I'm kind of sticking to that format at the moment. I mean, you can upscale at any time, we know that, but uh, that's, you know, that's why uh, I'm kind of, as I say, sticking to that. So that is 12 millimeters, but who cares? You know, it's that that matters and that at the moment. And, uh, and obviously, you know, the stuff you put in it. There's not a lot to this. And there's certainly not a lot of material in there. In fact, I can't wait for this to finish. And I'll show you. Well, I might try and charge it first, but... Now, I don't know whether we're going to get a charge discharge cycle I don't know uh, but on, on the others uh, I tried it again and again and again so in fact I, I'd like to stop that motor now to see what the bounce back is like but you know which is all part and parcel of a test of my tests you got the top end uh, the middle the mid range and the bottom end as I keep talking about now uh, and they're all important sections you know um, <laughs> your start voltage is important well to me anyway um, under load what that voltage drops to is important and then from there on in you've got these three phases top middle and bottom this at the moment I consider to be the bottom end because it's uh, or it, it was or should have been a 2.5 well I wanted a 2 volt cell I've said that but it started it, it's charging up to 2.5 in this style of setup so um, obviously playing around with the materials is going to affect everything so uh, where we'll end up with all of this I don't know not yet anyway so we're on 27 minutes, almost 28 minutes, there you go. Um, I'm gonna keep stun again, and uh, from here on in, I'll speed it up again. Um, this is gonna be one video now, because uh, people do moan about the length of my videos. 
um, but it is what it is I mean my last video was a, a five hour affair uh, you know with a, it, the cell went on for five hours um, and longer I know for a fact I know in my heart and my mind that it probably went on for ten hours but that bit I can't prove so I'm calling it five hours and I condensed that whole video down to one hour and someone still um, found time to sort of complain about that but you know it is what it is um, you've always got that fast forward but on your computer you can always fast forward a bit or just hold uh, the the dot on the bar and just push it along you don't have to click anything just click and hold and move it along till you see something and stop it that's all you got to do you know the important bits or whatever I'm gonna shut up Now believe it or believe it not, that that material there is part and parcel of what's in there. Um, it's nothing to do with the graphitic carbon nitride or anything like that because the temperature is not high enough. But it is some of the material that's in there. There you go. <clears throat> now, that material you just seen, there's no graphene in it, there's no graphene oxide in it, uh, there are no diatoms in it, there's no chitin in it, there's nothing as you see it this material here i.e. that and that other grey one well they have got diatoms in there and the collective thing is all together in there in a very thin layer Oh, and just a smidgen of spongy activated carbon. That's where my moisture is coming from. I've completely forgot about that. It's it's in DI water in there. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the moisture content. But no matter. I mean, um, it's kind of burnt itself off now. So. Now, if that were to stop now, it wouldn't concern me because that, for what's going on, I'm excited about, I'm already over the moon, I'm already ecstatic, so anything else is a bonus. Because this is all new yes we've got some activated carbon but this is all new this is a totally new concept for me anyway and I know for a fact that some of what I've done could possibly go towards that triangle um, in a rechargeable cell maybe a wet cell I don't know and I know as well hopefully that some of what I've done can go across to my 
uh, self-regenerating some. So, that's where I'm coming from. Now, I'm not saying that no one else in the world has ever produced what I've got in there. Maybe someone somewhere in a university or, uh, I don't know, some battery company or uh, someone somewhere may have done something similar to what I've done. I don't know. I've got no idea. I never will know, but, you know, um, this is, as I say, it's just totally new for me. So, we're on 35 minutes, and we're still on 0.38 volts. Now, as I say, I'm not hoping that that's going to go to 40 minutes right now. I've already gone past the stage where I'm pleased. So, if it does, it does. If it don't, it don't. have got to say um, the material there that I was just talking about this stuff and the one that's behind this phone the grey one um, has got absolutely nothing to do with that 5 hour battery that I produced there are some materials in there that is the same but the whole thing is a completely different animal it couldn't be any different. <clears throat> um, now, one point I'd like to, you know, talk about. Uh, I don't like to say what I've done until I've perfected it. Uh, and then I'll talk about it once I've done that. It's like this stuff now. I don't want to talk about how I produce that because I haven't perfected the technique. Um, I've produced it, but it's quite slow. I need to speed it up. Um, so I need to try a couple of other things. And once I've done it, and once I've perfected it, I don't care about talking about it. It makes no difference to me. Um, and it's the same with this stuff. It was the same with that 5 hour cell loads and loads and loads of questions and comments and all the rest of it and uh, you know one guy asked me about how I produced um, how I did the uh, the diatoms in um, with graphene oxide and that sort of stuff I answered the question because the question was asked um, so you know that was just one of those things but generally you know, I don't like to talk about it until I've got the answers. And not only I've got the answer that I know I'm 100%. So it's not just uh, trying to be evasive or anything like that. <laughs> but having said that, this here, <laughs> if I found that I could start a car with something like this, then I wouldn't tell you what it was, trust me. I mean, I don't know what the actual power factor is uh, in terms of, I used to do, with all my batteries, I used to do a short circuit test and see what the time scale was there and see what the maximum, the peak current was and the average current as it's dropping and all the rest of it. I mean, I did a battery uh, a crystal type battery that was in short circuit one of my self regenerating cells sorry not a crystal battery um, one of my self regenerating batteries uh, which is sort of crystal technology uh, and it was in a dead short I think it was 175 hours or something like that and it's still giving current in dead short
I think what I ought to do after this is just try and step it up uh, get sort of a I don't know a 50 square mil piece of graph oil uh, with a 50 or a 45 square mil no 55 by 50 on the graph oil and 50 by 50 on the uh, magnesium with that section of material as well and see where we go with it <clears throat> just a little upscale and see what it does so we did get to the 40 then and we're still on point three now that is just unreal Now I've attempted dry cell solid state stuff in the past, but all very quickly. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time on it, and all I did was a peak current test, a short circuit, and all the rest of it. I didn't do a duration test like this. Um, I'm just looking to buy some equipment now, uh, so that, that, that will data log uh, all of this, if you like, uh, to get some proper uh, results from it, you know, uh, proper readouts and all the rest of it. Um, that there, it would be quite easy to measure the material because it's fairly dry and I could just literally scrape it off, put it on my scales and say, that's how much material's on there. I might do that. Do you know what? I might just do that. I'm going to leave those there to remind me. And not only that, I'll do it on camera. Well, there you go then. Um, pretty good time. <clears throat> and not bad bounce back either. Might just leave that for a second and see where we go with it. Okay, we know it's going to creep up, so uh, I'm not too bothered about that right this minute. It's not fast, we can see that. So, what I said I would do is... Show this material. Oh shit. I should have tried to charge that first, shouldn't I? Never mind. It's too late now. Disturbed it. So, what I need to do is take this material which is going to be the activated carbon and this material that 
Now, <clears throat> again, there's no detriment to that magnesium there. There is a formation on it. Um, but the formation is not the usual. You know, that is not the black that you would normally get on a piece of magnesium. Basically, the, what I'm saying is that coating that was on there is not detrimental to the performance of the cell, the battery. So, okay, so um, we've got some material there. I know this is not very scientific, folks, but do you know what? I don't really care. There's the material, as far as I'm concerned. Now, these scales, unfortunately, if I just put that on there, it won't measure it. <clears throat> and it's the graduation according to that is 0 0.01 of a gram but you need to put something else on first for it to measure so what I'll do I'll put this old piece of uh, separator material on there first which isn't very heavy and I'll take that material there <clears throat> and we will weigh the lot now I know you can't see that at the moment but I'll move the camera in a second so that in itself weighs 0 0.21 of a gram and this if I add it to that gotta be quick because they do switch off So 0 0.21, 0 0.33, how about that then? And there we go, 0 0.21, 0 0.33. So there weren't a lot of material was there? There it is. So I think we can um, conclude this particular video and uh, have a look at the graph oil. Nothing wrong with that. And there's no degradation on this. What I'm going to do, um, if I can find my, uh, I've got a sheet of magnesium somewhere. I'll, for the next test, which will be with that, um, and that modified slightly, to see if I can get better performance, because that's what we've just used there. Um, what I'll do is I'll use a brand new piece of magnesium, just to prove a point that it is not at all in any way shape or form sacrificial so there we go